Yesterday, I did a light study like this and shared it in social media. A few people asked for a tutorial, so in this video, I will briefly explain how I created it. As you can see, I only used two images. First, since Salah's forehead was too bright, I used AI to fix those areas. Because there is a strong light coming from the back, I lowered the brightness. Then I adjust the colors using color balance. In this type of backgrounds, characters are usually in blue-purple tones. Even now it blends well with the background, but the red is a bit distracting. So I open a hue saturation adjustment and reduce the brightness of the red tones. However, this makes the white areas too bright. To fix this, I create a solid color layer and adjust the blend of settings so that it only affects the white areas. Then I add a mask and paint over the necessary parts. Since the light is coming from behind, I want to add this glow to the edges of his body. To do this, I double click on Salah's layer, select inner glow, set the blend mode to linear dodge and adjust it to look like a thin outline. Then I right click on the inner glow effect, blow the layer and select create layer. Now it becomes a normal layer and I can use a mask to erase the unwanted parts. Next I open a curves adjustment and lower the brightness. I select gradient from the left and apply it from bottom to top. This adds a nice shadow effect. Then I create a solid color layer and set the blend mode to linear dodge. I hold ctrl and click on Salah's mask to make a selection. I use this selection to create a mask on the solid color layer and then invert it. Now I start increasing the feather and as you can see the more I increase it the more a soft light effect appears inward. It's a really nice effect. After cleaning up the excess this is how it looks. Now it's time to add more lighting. I usually use curves for this because it allows me to adjust brightness, darkness and color at the same time. Again I shift the tones towards blue purple. In the blend of settings I slightly remove the dark areas. Now I can add a mask and start painting. I select a regular brush and set the flow to 5. Since the light is coming from behind, I only paint the side of his face and the edges of his body. After spending some time on it, this is how it looks. Finally, when I take a step back, I see that his face still looks a bit bright. So I add another curves adjustment, lower the brightness and paint over the overlay bright areas. Besides this, I added two more curves adjustments. One to lower the brightness of the white text in the foreground and another to reduce the brightness of the jersey. I created another solid color layer to add brightness from below. To bring Salah into focus, I added a blur to the background and adjust the blue tones using selective color. To make him stand out even more, I created another solid color layer and use a soft brush to add a subtle touch behind them. Finally, after adjusting the settings in camera raw filter, the design is complete. I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next video.